Hi, I'm excited to present Stereo Radiance Fields, a method for learning view synthesis from sparse views of novel scenes. Given only a sparse number of views, 10 in our experiments, our goal is to render novel views of the object. We want to render novel views in a single forward pass. This allows us to render novel views instantaneously. Based on stereo pairs of the input images, our stereo radiance fields predict the nerve representation, color and density. Prior works like NERF need typically 100 input images and need three days to memorize a single fixed scene into a neural network. Instead, our prediction is based only on a sparse number of views and we are predicting instantaneously in a single inference step. Moreover, our method generalizes to novel scenes. We built our stereo radiance fields based on an observation used in classical multi-view stereo approaches. Consider two views of a given scene. A point on the surface of the object is projected to the images and lands on similar regions. Such a point is called photoconsistent. However, a point in free space is projected to non-similar regions of the views. Such a point is not photoconsistent. Therefore, photoconsistency gives a strong cue about the object's surface. For a target view, we shoot a ray into the scene and sample points along it. For each point, we predict color and density. The color values along the ray are merged based on the density weights using volumetric rendering. A point is projected on the post input images. We extract CNN features at the point projection. This gives us a feature encoding per view. We want to compare all feature vectors to find out if the point is photoconsistent. For this, we build all possible stereo pairs of features. Each pair is combined with K filters. Each filter can learn different similarities and can propagate color. We arrange the results in a matrix of stereo features. We aggregate stereo information of four pairs by applying multiple convolutional filters. Next, we encode all information into a single vector of fixed length using max pooling. Finally, the encoding is decoded into color and density by a fully connected network. Let's look at our results. We train our method on roughly 100 objects from the DTU dataset and we test it on a novel object at inference time. Stereo radiance fields obtain sharp novel views in a single forward pass of the network. We found we can further improve results with a short time of fine tuning on the input images. State of the art baselines like nerve or local light field fusion obtain blurry results or have ghosting artifacts. Here we see a direct comparison of the novel view quality. Moreover, we found 10 views is often not enough information for the baselines to produce correct geometry. Stereo radiance fields showed consistent high quality results in our tests. Next, we present further results. Note how details of the blue house are captured by our method. Also, small objects on the balcony are captured by stereo radiance fields. We found the same stereo radiance field model is able to render a large variety of scenes. Our method produces high quality results in geometry and appearance, such as letters on the cocoa powder, the teeth of the skull, or the texture of a pear and an apple. Furthermore, our model allows for colored 3D meshing based only on 10 input views. Note, our stereo radiance field was trained only on images and no 3D data was given to the network. 3D reconstruction from sparse views of novel scenes was learned in an unsupervised manner, based only on the rendering loss.
Thanks. Code and trained models will be made available for research purposes.